Hi Taurus, this is your love reading for May. I know it's half over, I'm sorry, I was sick. Um, for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is also if you're spying on a Taurus because you're nosy or you're in a relationship with a Taurus. And we are going to do singles and couples. I will put in the description box below um, where the couples reading starts. Let's get started. this but for those of you who um, don't know if you go to my website and there's like a link in the description box below you can sign up to win a free reading every month and so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style and so I just wanted to let you know okay that's it okay single Taurus what elements of the past are affecting your current wishes right now and you're saying, and it's saying, you know what, like any disappointments from the past, you're kind of like getting over it and you're starting to see the value in the lessons that you've learned from past relationships, from past disappointments, you know, like maybe crushes that didn't expect or um, express the same interest in you, just different things like that. You're starting to see the lessons uh, in those things and being appreciative for those. And actually that's fantastic for you because this is a number eight in regards to like passion, excitement, new things coming through. Because you're embracing this attitude, or if you're not, you ought to, because what this is saying is things are going to change very, very quickly for you in your love life, and you will no longer feel so alone. So awesome. Good for you. Um, why do you want what you want in the month of May? And oh, happy birthday, by the way, Taurus. Uh, what it's saying is, you know, inherently, you're being guided by spirit to only be attracted to people who are for your highest good. Okay. Now, ultimately, you might be meeting some people who want the same things that you do, but maybe they have a different idea on how to get there, a different approach. Maybe you're totally okay with living together before marriage. Maybe they're not. All right. Now, um, but the point is, is that you want the same thing in the long term. You're less likely to attract in this month somebody who wants something different than you do. So if you want a long-term relationship, you're less likely in the month of May to be attracting in people who um, just want like, you know, a sexual, casual kind of a thing. And they're saying like, it's not even about what you're asserting to other people. It's not even about being super honest and open and saying, this is my expectation. This is what I need. You're, by law of attraction, only pulling in the types of people who are aligned with what you want. So that's really fantastic. And that'll work in your favor in order to find love this month. So what can you expect generally this month in regards to your love life? And what they're saying is, um, well, you can have, you can feel, uh, you, you can expect to feel very, very content with where you're at, whether you're just starting to meet people, um, whether you're kind of just taking this alone time and this moment of solace for yourself. Um, you're feeling very assured in who you are, what it is that you desire. Now, it's also saying that some of you are just kind of recently getting over in a divorce or like a divorce type of breakup and that the healing process is very slow, but actually you're kind of coming into this understanding of like, okay, things are going to be okay for me. Even if I'm not looking for love right now, um, I know that one day I will find exactly what I want and that it was the right thing to move on from this, even though it's hard. 
Um, so what kind of factors will be influencing your love life in the month of May? And they're saying, now for those of you who aren't completely over something, that will actually sort of affect your ability to draw in something new if you haven't completely closed the door on someone from your past or, you know, even a thought pattern. So for example, if you're focused on, you know, what went wrong in previous relationships as opposed to focusing on the lessons that you've learned and being positive about what's next to come, that'll help, that won't really help you so much this month in drawing in new love that is long lasting. But um, things that will help you are like new financial opportunities, like being open to potentially moving, things like that. Um, a lot of things regarding your own financial and um, sort of like earth energies, like where do you live? How do you want to live? What kind of place do you want to live? Where do you want to retire? Thinking about these things and creating opportunities for yourself um, are actually going to help you in your love life because it'll be very clear to you what kind of people are compatible with your end goal and which ones aren't. They're saying like, um, if, if on certain times or certain days you're not feeling particularly enthused about going out and finding love, that's actually okay because those are probably not the best days for you to find love matches anyhow. So a lot of things are working in your favor, even though it might not seem that way. Um, but you could be surprised that, boom, overnight, you could meet someone really, really wonderful for you, Taurus. Um, how are other people perceiving you in the month of May? You know, potential suitors and things like that. So they are under the impression that whatever relationships you have from the past, that they're completely done, that you've walked away from that. So that's good because it will help you to come into a relationship that is not full of fear or suspicion or anything like that. They do see you as romantic and very genuine in the love that you are trying to find and trying to show to somebody else. Um, they just think that perhaps you're a little bit unlucky in love, that there's nothing wrong with you. You are just single because you've been unlucky. So good. Um, what kind of things can get in the way of finding love this month? And it's saying, honestly, some of you might be a little bit defensive or a little bit closed off. So make sure your heart chakra is big and wide open and ready to receive love. Um, whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, they're saying, if that is not the case for you, if you remain, you know, with a partially closed heart chakra, or if you're not open to receiving love, you don't believe that love is coming for you, then your situation is not likely to change in the month of May. They're saying, um, you know, anybody that you might be talking to online or talking to um, in general, it'll just remain as sort of like a talking kind of relationship. It won't advance to like a more physical relationship. It won't advance to like going on physical, on actual dates and things like that if you're not able to fully open up that heart chakra. So um, what is the best course of action that you should take in the month of May in order to find love? Okay. So they're saying, ultimately, like I said, open up that heart chakra really big and wide. Think about what are the things that I want in a love relationship for the long term. If you have not ended completely or completely walked away from your relationships from the past, if you're not over it yet, that's something that you definitely have to do. Um, because the thing is, it's not like a lot of you are like hoping that your partner is going to come back because you know that they're wrong for you. So what are you holding on to this relationship energy for? It doesn't really make any sense. Intuitively, you know this, but it's hard to apply if your relationship, um, breakup, it has been recent. For those of you who have like, you know, been single for a little while, this is going to be an easier thing and you're best off to like really trust your intuition, to trust your guidance. Sometimes our spirit guides, our angels will lead us in a direction to be at the right place at the right time to meet the right person. And there's actually an archangel that helps us with that. His name is Thelial. He puts um, people that are meant to be together in the same place at the same time, but then it's up to you to actually like look up from your phone and notice that the other person is looking at you from across the room to strike up a conversation, that sort of a thing. Now, what happens if you do not pay attention to your intuition and you do not let go of things from the past? They're saying, well, ultimately, things are going to be different from the past, but not in a good way. You're going to feel strong because you're going to feel like you have some sort of control over the situation, but actually you don't because you're inhibiting yourself from bringing in new love. But if you do follow this advice, 
what happens. And it says, new love will come at you and it will be passionate and exciting and fun and it will come very quickly for you. It will be with people who want the same things as you, even though their approach to achieving the same things might be a little bit different than yours, but you can expect to be in a, or at least to meet somebody where, um, you would end up in a very secure, stable, predictable type of relationship. Now, when I say stable and predictable, I don't mean it won't be fun and exciting, but it's just that you can rely upon and trust in the person to always be there, that they're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to leave you. So that is your month single Taurus. Now, coupled Taurus. Let me just see. 844. Okay. Couple Taurus. Here's what's up for you in the month of May. Okay, so generally, you've got to think about what's really important to you. What makes your heart chakra big and open and wide? What are the things that you love? Some of you are potentially thinking about walking away from a relationship. You're talking about divorce and you really want it to be done. Now, for the rest of you that are not in that situation, you've got to follow your gut instincts and your intuition and do what is for the highest good, even if your partner doesn't agree, okay? Now, that's going to be challenging because it will cause arguments for you this month. Um, so it's not so dissimilar from what single Tauruses are experiencing. Now, it, in um, your past, you know, the history of your relationship with this specific person that you're with or um, in relationships in general, what kind of past things are affecting your current relationship? And it's saying, you know, like this energy of needing to be honest and have awesome communication is there. You can expect it this month. And um, it's definitely needed if you're going to be making any stability changes, any changes to career, work, where you're going to live, that sort of a thing, cohabitation or not. Um, they're saying anything is possible so long as you can clearly and openly communicate about earth energy type things like big purchases, for example. Now, why is it that you want the things that you want in your relationship in the month of May? And they're saying, you know what, because honestly, it's time for some fun. It's time for some excitement. It's time for adventure, creativity, all of these things. And it's not really um, something that's so deep and emotional. It's just like, it's time to have fun. It's time to make changes that make our lives better and more exciting. Um, so what kind of things can you expect to happen in the month of May in regards to your relationship? And it's saying really anything is possible. You've got to just really do a great job of expressing to your partner what it is that makes you happy so that they know that and they can provide it. They will be happy to do that for you and your relationship will be very stable and um, super like pre predictable and solid as a result if you're able to do so. So factors that are influencing your love life in the month of May are, um, you know, this this uh, sort of energy again of honesty is the best policy. Communication is the most important thing that we need to have in the month of May in our relationships. And it's saying, if not, you will be very unhappy. So even if the conversations are about things that make you unhappy, these are definitely conversations that you have to start. It doesn't look like your partner is going to come to you and want to talk about these things. You have to be the assertive one and um, start those conversations with them in the month of May. Now, how are um, other people going to influence your love life? Life. And then what is your partner's influence on your love life, which you might get a better um, understanding of that if you cross watch their love forecast for May. But how oh, other people are going to um, influence your relationship is like, okay, so other people might kind of give you signs or omens. You know, you might overhear somebody talking in a coffee shop about something and it gives you an idea about your love relationship. Um, but other people are not going to interfere in the love that you have between your partner and yourself this month. Like, I wouldn't be so worried in particular this month that, like, somebody's being too flirty with my partner or, you know, like they're trying to steal them away or cheat or anything like that. That's not necessarily the energy of your relationship this month. Um, now your partner, it's saying like they might not feel like the relationship is very strong, that maybe it's headed in a poor direction, that um, it's a little bit hopeless unless these things that you need to communicate about are communicated um, to them. Now why might they feel that way? And they say that the challenge is, um, you know, in their own confusion. They can't tell 
what your motivations are, what your intentions are, what's important to you, unless you express that verbally to them in the month of May. Now, sometimes it's very easy for our partners to connect to our energy and they can just like know what we're thinking and know what we're feeling and be a little bit more intuitive. However, this month, it's very important that you are communicating verbally what it is that you need, what it is that you desire, what it is that you expect. Now, what is the best course of action for you this month? And they're saying um, making these decisions about newness, like in your home environment, in um, regards to career, your long-term planning, that sort of a thing. They say it doesn't have to be challenging. You can actually balance a lot of things. Um, some of you are suppressing your emotions and you're like, ah, I can tell that like good things are coming in, but you know, maybe... My partner won't think so, so I'm afraid to talk about it. And they're like, absolutely don't be that way. This is something that you need to be excited to talk about with them so that you can achieve them and both feel a lot more content and solid and happy in this specific scenario. So if you do not listen to this advice, what will happen? And it's saying, you know, ultimately... Um, it'll be pretty unfortunate for you. Like your partner might go behind your back and make decisions without you if you're not bringing things up. And it could very well strain your relationship that the deep emotional attachment and bond that you have might not be as strong going into June, July, August. They're saying follow your gut instincts. Like you really need to follow this guidance and have these open conversations with your partner. So if you do go ahead and you follow this guidance and you're super open and honest, what they're saying is, you know what? Um, they're kind of giving you some tough love here. They're like, some of you are going to have to work up the courage to have these kind of conversations because you think that it's very challenging. Um, to to start these conversations and it's annoying for you that you have to be the one to start them. So, but ultimately, if you do it, um, initially you won't be happy with like the beginning of the conversation. Like maybe you tell your partner what it is that you want, what it is that you need, what it is you're trying to do, and they disagree. Um, but then they come to this understanding of like, you know what, my partner isn't crazy. They're actually pretty reliable most of the time and I want to make them happy. So you know what, I am going to communicate with them. I'm going to do everything that I need to do in order to make sure that their needs get met. And then you come into this like more um, stable, happy compromise, which is fantastic for the month of May. So that is your love reading and I will see you next month. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video, uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!